guys, this is going to be another empties video. Um, I've been doing a lot of these recently just because I've been trying to use up a bunch of products um, and I've just been really into the whole like not purging my collection so much as just appreciating what I have and using it and all of that fun stuff. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit out of breath. I kind of am. Um, and if you can hear Emma in the background, I'm sorry. She's like shedding her summer coat or whatever. Um, so she's scratching a lot and she has a bell on her collar so you can hear it. Um, also if I sound kind of gross, I'm sorry. Also if I look kind of gross, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just life right now. Oh, no, come back later. She was trying to join me. Okay, anyways, let's get into the empties. I have some sheet masks, um, because I have been, as part of my, like, earlier wake-up time, um, I have been taking time after I've gotten up and <laughs> eaten breakfast and everything to, um, have some self-care time, and my favorite way to do that is by, like, face treatment, so eye masks, face masks, all of that fun stuff, um, so I have used up a lot of sheet masks because they're the easiest and they're probably my favorite, um, kind of mask to use. So I've been using a lot of them. I will just get started. I think I have, yeah, I have a decent selection. Um, okay. The first one is by Mykonos. I don't know. Jelly Mask Aqua Refresh. Um, I got a pack of these kinds. Um, it came with five of these and five with these. Um, from Amazon during Prime Day, and I actually really really like them. They're nice and thin. They have that kind of like textured consistency to them. Um, they come with a crap ton of the like serum, so if you want to use that on other masks or just as a face serum, you can definitely do that with these. Um, this one is the one that's supposed to um, make your skin feel more moisturized and all that fun jazz. Advanced Moisture System and Special Daily Care is what these are supposed to do. Um, and they feel really nice. I keep them on for probably 20 to 30 minutes and they're still pretty saturated. So, um, I think that's really nice. I like a mask that I can leave on for a little while if I want to. Um, but I do feel a nice moisturized plumping effect with these. So once I finish them up, I will probably be repurchasing the same 10 pack that I got the first time. Um, as long as it's not like ridiculously expensive. I think I spent like $11.90 something um, on the 10 masks, which I think is a great deal, so yes. And then the counterpart is the Jelly Mask Deep Sea Whitening Advanced Whitening System Special Daily Care. Um, as you know, I do have like acne scarring and hyperpigmentation, especially on my cheeks. Um, so whenever I find a product that claims to be whitening, I definitely go for it because I do want to even up my skin tone and just... Um, be a little happier with my complexion. So uh, I think these have been working nicely. I don't know that they can do a whole lot just because you're only wearing them for a small amount of time, but combined with my vitamin C serum, I think they're doing a pretty good job. I'm not wearing foundation today, which is super new for me. Whenever I wear makeup, I always wear foundation and concealer and powder and all that. Um, and recently I've just been doing eyes and lips and like some blush and highlighter. Uh, and I'm really happy that I can do that and that my skin in my opinion, looks good enough for me to be able to go without foundation, so I think these definitely help even if it's just like a placebo, and they feel really, really good, so I'm not mad at it. Um, another thing I finished up is the uh, Stella Fiesta Coconut Oil Face Masks. I believe there's been these in the past before. Um, when I finish them all, I will have like the box that they came in, um, but yeah, these are nice. They're just nice and moisturizing, and um, yeah, they're just a nice soothing, relaxing mask to put on and wear for a while. This is a little bit thicker, um, and it also comes with a crap ton of serum, so if that's what you're into, you will really like these. Um, another one that I used up, I wonder if I can hold it upside down. I'm just gonna do it for a second. There you go, you can see it. Alright, great. <laughs> the slit is at the bottom, so like, it's complicated. But this is the Malibu Glitz Pearl Brightening and Firming Facial Mask. Um, I'd been putting off using this forever, <laughs> just because I get them off of Shop Masse and they're always sold out and for good reason. They do feel very, very nice on the skin. Um, brightening and firming, I guess it does that. I don't really need firming for my skin because it is still pretty youthful. Um, so I don't have any like saggy bits yet. <laughs> um, but I think the brightening definitely works. Um, I think it has a pretty decent amount of uh, vitamin C. Reading through it real quick. Um, 
I can't really tell because there's a ton of ingredients, which means it's probably not very good for me. But it feels nice, um, and if I can ever get my hands on another one, I would probably repurchase it. Um, this one I'm very excited about, because um, at first I thought I was going to hate it, and then I ended up not hating it, and I'm happy about it. I bought these um, hydrogel masks off of Amazon because I found out that I love hydrogel masks. And when this one first came in, I was super excited because it was a big pack of them, but they didn't feel like hydrogel masks, like through the package. And this is the Ebonel Skincare Hyaluronic Stem Cell Hydrogel Mask. Um, and it's got all of the like little niceties down at the bottom, like paraben free, sulfate free, no animal testing, alcohol free, 100% natural, hypoallergenic, and oil free. Um, so that's cool. Um, but. And when you pull it out, it has one of those, like, two of those, like, cover things. Like, you know, when you get some masks and they have the, like, blue sheet that you have to pull off? This has two, and they're not blue. So I super didn't read the directions because I'm like, it's a face mask. What? A, why? Um, wrong. I should have read them because I didn't take the little things off. And I was really bummed because I was like, this isn't a hydrogel mask. Like, this is just a normal sheet mask. And I ain't mad at it, but, like, I am kind of. And then, of course, I read the back. And it said remove the cover and I was like oh okay that makes way more sense so once I did that I was happy because it was a hydrogel mask so moral of that story read the directions on a product that's new um, and also check these out because they're really nice pretty affordable hydrogel masks so I'm happy with all of those let's see other face products um, I think I only have two other face products in this one the next one is another mask this was my first modeling mask ever. This is the Jean-Pierre Delicious Collagen Mask Strawberry Collagen Modeling Pack. I just kept the lid. Um, this was impossible, guys. Like, I knew that modeling masks were really hard um, to work with, but I was mixing this and I was mixing it and I was mixing it and it was still super runny. And I was like, okay, if I don't apply it soon, it's going to get thick and clumpy. And I'm not going to be able to apply it. So I put it on when it's super runny. It's dripping everywhere. It's not, like, hardening. And then I'm still mixing it while I'm, like, trying to put it on my face. And then, like, all of a sudden it gets the perfect consistency. And I'm like, oh, no, what have I done? So I try to put that on. But by that time, it's not sticking because everything else is liquidy. And then it starts getting hard and clumpy in the ball. And I'm like, oh, why? So um, I didn't have a good experience with this. It didn't really dry enough for me to peel off. I had to like scrape chunks off and then like wipe the rest of it with a washcloth. Um, so I would repurchase just this just because I think it was probably user error, the reason why it didn't work right, but I have a couple more modeling masks that I'm going to be trying out and hopefully I can finally get one right. Um, so I don't think it was this specific mask's fault. I think it was just me not really knowing what I was doing and the instructions are kind of confusing. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to focus on it. But um, they're out of order. So it like says how to use. Fill bowl to inside line with and then it stops and says three. If rubber pack is ready, apply rubber except eyes, lips, and nostrils. Four. Blah 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 blah. And then you get back to two. And then it tells you how many ounces there are. And it was just very confusing. <laughs> so I think uh, if I tried more and figured out how to make them right, then I would repurchase this. Um, okay, this one I'm really excited about because I actually want to purchase a full size. This was a sample um, two nights ago, well last night too, but I used this two nights ago because I felt really crappy um, and I just wanted like to relax and treat myself a little bit more than I usually do. And this is the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask and it's a little like paper sample. Um, there was plenty in here for two mask treatments if you didn't put it all over your face. If you did, there was slightly more than one usage, um, so I just put it on a little bit thicker in some spots. This was amazing, guys. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it's supposed to do. I have the um, Volcanic Blackhead Out Balm or whatever, um, and that works wonders. I love using that on my nose. I no longer use I no longer use nose pore strips just because the balm that I got just pulls them right out. Um, but this felt so nice. It was nice and cooling. It felt kind of tingly, so I felt like it was getting up in my pores. It was very cooling, like I said, and it didn't get ridiculously hard. Like, you know how some clay masks, when you put it on, let it dry, you, like, can't move your face because it hurts? This hardened, but not in an uncomfortable way. Um, I could still move my mouth. I could still, like, move my face some, and while it was hard, 
it didn't hurt and I really really liked that um it did leave my skin feeling very nice and it was the coolest consistency because it was like clay mixed with jelly and when you took it out it was like kind of goopy and like hard and then you put it on your face and started to rub and it just like dissolved into this nice like smooth clay like just so good I wish I had the full size of this and once I get paid I will probably end up caving and buying it just because it was so good and so much nicer than any other clay mask I've ever tried so that was definitely a win in my book um okay random one is just another Amazon baby wipes um I think this is my second pack that I've gone through in my third pack no two packs because I've got one in my car one in my bathroom one in my bedroom and then one that I haven't used yet um so again finished one up these are really nice um if you're squeamish then I guess like just close your ears for a minute but um long story short uh I have endometriosis um we can't find a pill that works right I bleed like basically all month yada 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 um and I use cloth pads because I'm lazy and don't feel like using my menstrual cup so whenever I go to bed and then wake up in the morning I will wipe off with one of these um, because it's kind of gross down there and these work nicely. I haven't felt any irritation. Um, sometimes I use these on my face just because I'm lazy, um, but I really like them and they're pretty cheap, so would recommend. Um, okay, I'm gonna save all the wax for last. Oh, I found another face product. Look at me, lying, lying super hard. I'm gonna take out everything that isn't wax. Okay, I think that's everything that doesn't wax. Okay, another thing that I used up are these My Spa Life um, Hydrogel like eye pad thingies. Um, when I use up the whole box, I will show the whole box so that you can know what I'm using and everything because it's kind of hard to tell from plastic. But I really like these and if I find them at Marshalls again, I will repurchase them. Otherwise, I guess I'll look for them on Amazon or something. Um, another thing I used up is this little jar um, Tellin, Tellin, it says green natural on it, but it's just hyaluronic acid. Um, I used this when I didn't have a serum before bed. Um, now I use my vitamin C serum, but um, this was nice. It lasted a good couple months of me using it, not super regularly, but whenever I thought about it. Um, and it's nice because this like dropper bit is squeezy, so you can squeeze out whatever gets up in there. It's not all metal, I mean metal, not all glass. Um, and yeah, I liked this. I don't know if I would repurchase it just because I'm more into serums that do things besides just plain hyaluronic acid, but I think this is nice to have if you're diehard skincare and want something nice um, that you know is like doing what you want it to do. Um, okay, that's all the skincare. Now, oh, okay, um, on to deodorant. Um, I actually really liked this deodorant. I would probably... Um, repurchase this at some point. I have a couple, well, like three deodorants I need to go through right now, um, but when I run out, if I haven't found a new favorite, I might repurchase this one. This is from Handcrafted Honeybee. Um, now they're called Smarty Pits. Like, the company is still Handcrafted Honeybee, but their deodorant is called Smarty Pits, um, and this was the Lavender and Rose Probiotic Deodorant. This is aluminum-free, paraben-free, and phthalate-free. <laughs> Um, and it smelled super good. Um, I didn't even notice I was done using it until I was on vacation with my girls and went to put it on and the entire thing fell out. So you can see there's still a little bit of deodorant in there, but like I just, I can't do it because the plastic hurts when I rub it under my arms. Um, it smells so good. It smells really refreshing because it's like the, um, like not the sweet lavender, it's the herbal lavender, um, which I think works really nicely. Um, this did make me smell pretty good all day long. It felt like normal deodorant, so if you're opposed to using deodorants that don't feel like store-bought deodorant, you would like this because the um, formula isn't like super balmy or super like wet, nothing like that, um, and it's really nice. I bought these when they had a two-for-one promo, um, and it also came with a little sample, which I keep in my bag, but yeah, I really liked this, um, and I think... I think it's a reasonable price. I think it's like eight bucks or something, which is way more than you pay for a drugstore deodorant. Um, but for deodorants like this, I think that's about an average price. So yeah, that's how I feel about that one. Um, and then the next non-fragrance thing is the most regretful product. It's my Deep Steep Hand Cream. This came in one of my Eco Emmy boxes. 
I so, so badly miss Eco Emmy. I really wish they would come back. But this is the Passion Fruit Guava Hand Cream with Aloe Vera, Shea Butter, and Olive Oil. This was the little two fluid ounce one. Um, and I literally like took off the lid and squeezed as hard as I could up here. And like you can look in there and see that there's absolutely nothing left. And it's so disappointing. It smelled so good and it was super moisturizing um, it just it felt so nice on the skin and the like full-size real bottles are like almost $20 or something which I just can't see myself shelling out for a hand cream but holy cow guys this stuff is so good if you are the type to shell out that much money for a hand cream or if you can find this at like Marshall's TG Maxx or anything definitely buy it it is so so nice and if i ever find myself in a position where twenty dollars for a hand cream doesn't bother me you best believe i'm rebuying it um that's probably the like the only thing that i've used up that i was like no it's gone why um most other things i'm excited that i've used up because it means i can get something new but i can't repurchase this because i'm broke so um okay the only non-wax melt that i used this month was this tiny Bath and Body Works Island Margarita Candle. I'm only really using these um, because I'm moving and I don't want to have to pack all these little bitty candles that I'm literally never gonna use because in my experience, this size candle doesn't have any throw whatsoever. I can put it right on my nightstand beside my bed and I still can't smell it. I mean, on cold, it smells great, which is why I bought it, um, but burning it just doesn't do anything. So if I can't give them away or sell them, I'm just gonna burn all of these before I leave. So I don't have to pack them, and this was one of them. It did have the cute little lid, though. Okay, on to wax melt. Sorry, I'm like pulling my hair back. It's like all on my face, and that bothers me. And I don't want to like pull it in a ponytail because then I look bald. All right, on to wax melts. I have used quite a few this month. Well, this isn't even for this whole month. It's the beginning of August right now, and this isn't all from July. This is all from like the past two weeks or so. Um, so yeah. Anyways, continuing on. One of the first ones in here that I'm going to go through because it's old and grody and I need to throw it away is the Smell Goods Wax Melts in Coffee. Um, they do not have a shop anymore, unfortunately. Um, this one smelled really good. It smelled like, like it had a kind of like bitter scent to it, like real coffee, but it also had the sweetness of like cream and sugar, so it smelled really authentic. Um, the packaging just kills me because it's... They, they probably poured it when it was too hot or something and the plastic like clung to the wax and it's just impossible to get out. I mean, I literally cut it out. So yeah, frustrating to use, but really nice wax. I'm sorry they don't make them anymore so you can't buy them. Um, I'm gonna do the next like plasticky ones that don't have cases next. Let's see. Okay, I think that's all of them. The first one is Pom Pom Pop from Save Your Sensi. This was a little sample. Smelled really good, nice and fruity, like, yeah, like candy, basically. Um, it was kind of, I'm sure it was supposed to be like a pomegranate soda, but it smelled very sweet, and I didn't really get any bubbly hint, like, hints from it, so I don't know. I don't know if they sell this one by itself or not. Um, the next one, same from them, is Candy Crush. This one, again, very candy smelling. Um, really nice, actually. I was surprised that I liked it as much as I did. Let's see, Island Hibiscus, holy crap, smelled super good. I love hibiscus, that's probably why. Um, yeah, just very fresh and floral and sweet and lovely. Um, I think that's all that I had from them. I also had two from Statement Candle Co. Obviously one of my freshly cut lilacs because it's one of my all-time favorites. And a lemon pound cake. Um, this one smelled kind of weird. It wasn't as pungently lemony as I wanted it to be. It was more of like a lemon sugar kind of smell, which I'm not against, but when I think lemon pound cake, I think strong lemon scent, and this wasn't that, so I'm not disappointed in it. It did smell good, just wasn't what I expected. Um, I had two from Yankee Candle. I had one that was line dried cotton, which smelled very fresh and clean, very like, um, laundry detergent tea, which I guess makes sense but a very nice, fresh, clean, outdoorsy kind of smell, which I actually really liked. Um, and then Macintosh, which I have going today, just your classic apple scent, which doesn't make it smell any better because it's so good. Um, 
just because something is plastic doesn't mean that it doesn't smell good. I love apple scents. They smell super, super good, especially now that um, we've had a lot of storms, so the weather outside is a little bit cooler in the mornings and the evenings, um, which is reminiscent of fall, unfortunately, but apple scents are a thing then, so can't be but so mad. Um, Alright, last sense because this video is already like 20 minutes long and I need to get on with my life. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I have two from the Melt Zone. I have Coconut Milk and Lavender, which smelled amazing. This was more, more of the like sweet sugary lavender and coconut milk. So, so good. And then this one was Strawberry Raspberry Guava. Self-explanatory. Smelled like the fruits very fruity very um if you've ever had strawberry watermelon gatorade this smells kind of reminiscent of that <laughs> so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but that's that's that um i have a crap ton of sugar skulls so i'm going to save those all for last i have a happy crab pistachio macaron um this smelled really good it smelled like pistachio cake super good and it was a really cute melt she had it like done up like whipped cream super cute um definitely liked this one and then i have four sugar skulls from save your senses save your senses i don't i still don't know how to pronounce it um i had rose bouquet which unlike rose jam smelled actually like a bouquet of roses um which is really nice because i do like the um like genuine florally rose scent um and this one definitely had that oh my gosh it still smells so good I just love the smell of fresh cut flowers and this gives you that without actually having to buy fresh cut flowers. Um, this one is another one I'm melting today, banana cream pie. Oh, I almost dropped it. It smells so good though. Mm, I've been wanting banana cream pie for weeks now and this is not helping that craving at all because it smells super authentic. Um, this one was strawberry, sparkling strawberry pear. Um, yeah, this one was kind of a fizzy note, which if you've watched my empties before that had wax in them, you know I'm not a fan of fizzy scents. Um, they just kind of make me feel kind of nauseous. But this one is subtly fizzy. It's like fruity with a little bit of fizz, which is tolerable for me. I don't know if I'd repurchase it just because it is kind of nauseating after a while. For me personally, because I don't like fizzy scents. Um, but that's my bad for buying a sparkling scent. Um, but it does smell nice. And then this is another one of my favorites, White Peach and Hibiscus. It smells so good. It smells very floral, very fruity, very fresh. Just overall a super good scent. Um, so yeah, that is all of my empties for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope it gave you some insight on some items that you may want to try out. Um, and hopefully by the next empties, I will have more stuff to show you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!